Hi everyone, this is Renee for PreCentral.net, and we are with Palm at GDC 10, and I'm talking to Joe Hayashi about the P WebOS PDK. How's it going, Joe? Good. How are you? Good. So for for those PreCentral uh, readers who have been in you know out of contact recently, can you just give us the whole overview of what um, the PDK is? Yeah, absolutely. So um, in January we announced uh, at CES that we uh, have the PDK, uh, and basically the PDK allows uh, developers who have a lot of uh, uh, C, C++ code to basically, like, like gamers, uh, game developers as an example, to bring uh, their titles very easily over to WebOS. And so we've seen over the last couple of months uh, a, a ton of great new games, uh, 3D games, coming to the platform. Uh, and so uh, today we announced basically a public beta of the PDK. So uh, any developer now can go to the website, they can download the, the, the PDK, and they can get started developing uh, using uh, these components as well. So this is a uh, a new technology uh, uh, development tool, uh, tool uh, that lets developers basically move their move their software over if they have these code bases. It's kind of focused on gaming today, but it, but you know developers are infinitely creative, <laughs> and we're we're excited to sort of see all the things that they that they can do with it. All right, so there's no arbitrary restriction just on games. It could work theoretically for anything. Correct. Yeah. So so the model is very simple. It's uh, just like the browser model. Uh, you, you can basically make a plugin for your application, and that can be a full screen plugin, it can be a, a, just a part of the screen, or it can have no uh, visuals at all. Uh, so, a lot of what people see today in the catalog with games like, you know, Sims or Assassin's Creed or any of the, you know, the, the, the games that we have there, uh, the, those are all full screen today. But the, but the plugin model will let developers do all kinds of cool things. So, if you have like, a, you know, you wanted to show a chart in your application and you wanted to use like an OpenGL transformation to kind of switch between. Uh, the different uh, you know scenes or whatever you could do that, uh, or you can just do some audio or image processing in the background. So it's all kind of cool things you can do with it. And that was a motivation for making it a plugin architecture rather than a separate one. Well, the the, the plugin model really comes from the web. So uh, as you know, with WebOS, we we benefit a lot from the web. So obviously, our platform is really built on web technologies, and so we kind of learned from the web and said, well, you know. What is the best way to enable these uh, C, C++ components for the web, the web world? And so we really kind of took a lesson from the web and the browser. And you know, if, if people remember back in the day when when plugins first came out, there were these native components that ran within the browser, and that's basically what we've enabled. So we've taken some of the same APIs, some of the, some of the same models, and really enabled that for WebOS, WebOS developers. So for folks that are looking to do things that have these code bases or they want to do stuff in C or C++, this will allow them to do that in a very standard sort of webby way. And at the end, it kind of just plugs right back into your SDK, which is web technologies based. So for the end user, it's completely transparent. Yeah, for the end user, it, it works just like any other application. They don't really know the difference, uh, but they get the benefit of, of even more developers and more code that's, that, that the developers can bring to market. Now, I mentioned to you right before this that I'm incredibly impressed with the way Palm is engaging with developers. I mean, you may use web technologies because there's a, it's a huge platform, the biggest platform in the world. Yep. You did classics mode so people could bring their old Palm applications. Yep. And now you're doing this plugin so that people with these existing C and C++ code bases, I mean, um, it is staggering how nicely you're treating developers. Well, the, uh, I, th I think, like I was saying earlier, we, we get a lot of benefit from really uh, leveraging uh, the web, right? So, so WebOS is, is built with web technologies. It's what we use to develop uh, uh, the, the products, uh, and, and, and we've really been able to learn a lot from the web and how the web, and how developers engage with the web. You know, if you're a web developer, you have your, you have a lot of different choices you can use in terms of your tools and technologies. Uh, PDK is another choice for WebOS developers. Uh, you know, we, we try as much as possible not to stand in people's way uh, and kind of give them sort of freedom and choice in terms of not only how they, what tools they have, but also how they go to market. So uh, it's a very simple formula for us, really, which is, which is you know, how would, how would this happen on the web? What, 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 you know, what, what, what is a very web way to do things? And we've kind of applied that to the different uh, opportunities that have come along uh, our way. And, and as we've done it, we've just said, hey, if the, you know, this makes sense in a web model, and we've really benefited from that. And I think our developers have benefited from that as well, or at least we hope so. And like you said, because it's a plugin, it's incredibly scalable, so you can go from just that one OpenGL transform all the way to a full, I mean, we saw, uh, you mentioned, well, you mentioned at CES you had four debut yeah. partners with this, yeah. and they were doing full-on 3D gaming. Yep, absolutely. So, so, so you can do, um, yeah. So, like, you know, I like to think of it. You know, if you want a title like Assassin's Creed or Need for Speed, you know, uh, there's, there's, a, and you're on Verizon or Sprint. This is the only way to get it is through a Palm device. Uh, so, uh, a lot of developers that have these these great titles uh, uh, can bring them to market today, and consumers can get them, uh, uh, you know, on Sprint or Verizon right now. And for the developer, I mean, it's almost, 
I hate to use this because it doesn't sound the way I mean it, but if they're already developing for another platform, yeah. you're almost giving them Palm for free. Like they get WebOS for free almost. Well, you know, uh, so we, we make it as easy as possible for them to basically target. So anyone, so as, a, as, as an iPhone developer example, if you have like a full screen uh, a game that uses OpenGL or uses SDL, uh, this is a great way for you to basically access a whole other platform. Uh, and uh, so, and a lot of developers are, you know, so we've already seen that today in the WebOS world where a lot of developers are using web technologies to build other platforms. We think that we have the best web-based platform out there and so we, we saw a lot of developers target us because we have a web-based platform uh, and they want to reach lots of devices and the PDK is kind of another on-ramp, another way to do that basically. So uh, in an ideal world, you will have your web technology, like your CSS games, you'll yeah. have your uh, OpenGL full-on 3D gaming games, yeah. and eventually you're going to have Flash games, which I've heard are popular. Well, so. yeah, Flash, Flash, is, Flash is part of the web, uh, and um, you know, we've demoed with Adobe uh, this Flash plugin that basically runs in the browser, and so uh, and we've demoed lots of different Flash games that already work on the platform, and so, so people know that that's coming. So that's another element that, that will, I think, be part of this uh, you know, just like the web, like Flash is part of the web, plugins are part of the web. Uh, you know, obviously the web is part of the web, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, so that'll just be another kind of more freedom and choice for developers in terms of how they want to bring their stuff to market and how they want to reach consumers. They can do it their way. They can do it their <laughs> way, right? Exactly. Uh, now you mentioned that um, for the beta, developers uh, can start using it now, but they'll need to wait for a, fu a future version of WebOS before they can put them in the app catalog. That's right. So developers today can go and get they can get the PDK. Uh, not all of the support for uh, for running all this stuff is available today in the operating systems that people have on their devices right now. So in a future WebOS update uh, that we kind of expect in the middle of the year, we're going to deliver those components uh, so that basically uh, the full plug-in model will work for everyone's device. In the in the PDK today is support for Pixie, so that's obviously coming. Uh, and and um, uh, but developers, if they use the PDK today, they can basically develop on a Pixie or develop on a Pre, all of that support is available for developers. Is that a challenge to scale from a device like the Pixie, which is front-facing, QWERTY, small, lower-end uh, guts, yeah. going all the way up to the Palm Pre, which is you know one of the higher-end smartphones today? I'd say it's very similar to what people do today. I mean, obviously, most developers target both Pre and Pixie today, and I think the, the challenges are very similar, which is to which is say that they're not, not, not that big of a challenge. One of the advantages that we have at Palm is that because we're we make the hardware and the software and everything together, we've made it as easy as possible for developers to target these different form factors and different screen sizes and make it work well for them. Uh, so, so there's only a handful of companies out there that have that same type of approach. And so from a developer standpoint, you get a lot more consistency, a lot more reliability in terms of what you can expect uh, to, to basically, uh, as, as you develop your application. So palm to developers, you can do it your way. You can, you can do it your <laughs> way. Well, that, now you can do it with a PDK. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. This is Renee for PreCentral.net, and we have been talking to Joe Hayashi. Thank you.